Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to this video. On this video, I'm actually gonna be installing electrical to the top of my rooftop tent. I'm gonna be using a cigarette socket adapter as a 12 foot line. And I'm gonna be running it basically to the uh, top of the roof ceiling of the vehicle, down to the quarter panel, and then to the front where my jackery is gonna be at. Uh, I've, been, I've been hesitant to put a hole into the rooftop tent, um, but I'm ready to do it. I'm tired of carrying the jackery up and down. I'm tired of uh, carrying a pump up and down. So with that said, I'm gonna get some electrical in there. This should be an easy install. I just gotta put a hole into the rooftop tent. So let's go ahead and take a look at the components that I'm gonna be needing here. All right, so this should be everything that I'm gonna be needing. I've got my good drill. I've got these rubber grommets and I just need to pretty much slice a hole into this. I've got some zip, zip ties to clean everything up and I've got a 38 millimeter drill bit. This is going to be drilling the hole in the rooftop tent. I'm gonna go nice and slow with this. And then last but not least, I've got this uh, Knight brand cigarette lighter extension cord. So it's heavy duty, it's thick water resistant plug and play it's basically 12 foot that's why i chose this i wanted to make sure i had extra length uh the only the other option why i wanted this is that this is actually a very slim profile plug and this is going to allow me to be able to go through the grommets without having to slice this up i can go through the grommet here and i can also run through the grommet right here on my vehicle so that is the reason why I went with this brand and I'll go ahead and drop a link below. Let's go ahead and get started on this drilling. So before I actually get into the drilling, I'm gonna explain where I'm gonna be drilling at and what I'm drilling to and for. So this is gonna be a Gobi rack with a Gobi ladder. Just like my solar panels, I'm gonna be running the wire through here and it's gonna be behind the rear spoiler into the headliner. Now, the location that I chose it's going to be dead center right there. I'm going to be doing about three inches away from where the stake pole extends out from on the eye camper. And that will leave me with some adequate room so that I can have the plug come out. So let's go ahead and take a look. So. So what I'm looking for is actually going to be three, about three inches away from this bolt right here. And that should be dead center on my vehicle. And I've tested this location out with the pad down. It's gonna be, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna stick out right here. And I'm hoping that after everything is said and done, it's gonna be sitting into this bag. So let's go ahead and get started with the drilling. I'm going to eyeball it about two and a half, three inches here. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, drill forward first. Okay, so I want one of the main things I wanted to do is to make sure that I'm very gentle and I don't dent this aluminum uh, bottom piece right here. So now that I've slightly I've made a hole here, I'm gonna go ahead and put the drill on reverse, and I'm gonna go ahead and start drilling the main hole in reverse.
this through. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this up. So I'm gonna be cutting two of these, one on the top, one on the bottom, so I can put the plug through. Now I'm going to go ahead and feed the cigarette plug down to the other plug. This is going to be a little tricky because I'm going now through two grommets, but it went by really good. So I'm through, I'm going to feed it all the way through. Got it ran down there. I'm gonna go ahead and follow this line and drop down here. This little crack right there, I'm gonna go ahead and run the wire through there. I tried checking the trunk gate and it does close without friction. So I'm gonna end up using that spot and then I'm just gonna follow the wire loom here. So I'll start zip tying All right guys, so got everything all wired up. The socket is powered on. I can turn it on and off by this button right here. And so for example, I have my lighting set up there and it uses a cigarette socket. So I 
simply just plug that in, turn it on. There you go. I should have done this a long time ago. Now I can charge my phone and keep everything nice and tidy up in here. And when I am done, I can just unplug this, power this off. I can just leave it tucked in and still close my rooftop tent. Hope you guys find this video helpful. I should have done this a long time ago. It's definitely going to help me out on uh, having to carry my battery up and down. Imagine a, a, a few day trip and having to do that several times really going to be a pain in the rear. So I'm glad that I was able to take care of this overall. I think this install just took a little bit of time, but it was overall very easy. It didn't have to splice any wires. Just running into the grommet was something that was a little bit of a, a, um, a scary moment drilling into a $3,000 tent, but nonetheless, it turned out great. I think it's going to be a great add-on for even a future owner. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for tuning in. Later, guys.